Now people pay a lot of money to coach with us privately, one-on-one. -on -one. It's my favorite thing to do. It's the most effective way to learn and practice and apply the principles. But not everybody can. So we wanted to create something that everybody could have. Then there are times when my awareness is heightened. This is the topic of our discussion. If we want it to be easy, it's going to be very hard to face a challenge and take it on. This also gives us a clue about why some self-improvement approaches haven't been working. We want you to have a weekly coaching session with one of the leaders of the Augmandino Group. Okay, welcome to this week's Power Session Coaching Call. It is great to be back with you. So as I mentioned, today we're talking strictly about quieting your mind. Okay. As soon as we realize that that box is not a box with walls, it's a box in terms of a frame, something you can build on, something you can add to. If we view it as a prison cell, then no wonder we're going to be resistant to that structure. So this is kind of my brain going crazy a little bit. This, first of all, was an amazing session. This was exactly what I needed to hear. In scroll number eight, I'll multiply my value a hundredfold. Og starts by comparing us to a grain of wheat, just a little grain of wheat. He says we have three options. Number one, we can be put in a sack, dumped in a stall, and fed to the swine. Or we can take that grain of wheat and grind it into flour, make it into bread, and have it broken open and devoured by the will of others. Or we can choose to have that grain of wheat planted in the darkness of the soil, the humus. Humus is the root word of humility, being teachable, planted in the darkness of the soil. He said the darkness of the soil is all of our discouragements and despairs and our failures. We're planted in there in order to ripen. Ripen means to mature. And when we mature, we break open, we go through the soil up into the light into a hundred stalks of wheat hundred grains. He says that wheat itself has to wait on the weather, but yet I get to make my own choice. 